All right, so I wanted to provide just a concrete example of how to link cards together. So I was just studying this card that talked about T-cell clonal energy. And I kind of remembered a buzzword called clonal deletion. And I didn't really understand how clonal energy and clonal deletion fit together. So what I wanted to do is show you guys how to link these so maybe we can get a better uh, comparison in our mind and be able to remember it longer. So I'm going to go ahead and search for the card that I was thinking about. So I'm going to think of two words that were pretty similar, um, pretty unique, I think, that I could find this card with. So T-cell energy. Now, I don't know if this T-cell is the best thing to be looking up stuff by, but it might be. Um, well, it did work. So we have T-cells. So I must have been looking for cells and energy there. I don't know if it would look for particularly T, because I bet the letter T is in a lot of different cards. But um, So this is the card I was looking for. So why don't we, so we have this one selected in blue. So let's go ahead and delete what's in the search bar here and hit enter. And that'll pull it up within the context of all the other cards. So um, instead of just what we searched for. So then if you sort by created here, uh, if you right click, uh, if you have um, an add-on for this, um, you can, if you have the On King add-ons, you can hit created here and you can sort by that field. So the card that was created just before or after this one was B cells clonal deletion. That's the one I was looking for. So here we got pretty lucky. Otherwise, I might have to pull up another browse window and look for clonal deletion. Um, and you can do multiple browse windows if there's an add-on for that. I'll link it in the description. Um, but let's go ahead and take screenshots of these and link them. So I haven't really seen anybody talk about this on YouTube, but I think it's incredibly helpful. Actually, I would say about 10% of my cards um, in my collection have some kind of linkage like this. And it takes a little bit of extra time, and I think it's best to make this linkage right when you're first learning the card, when it's new. Um, because then it's just whenever you're reviewing it, uh, it's right there for you and it saves time in the future. I think it's a little bit of time up front to make these uh, screenshots, but it doesn't take too long once you're good at it. So let's take a screenshot of this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Snagit, which is this fun picture editing software. I think it costs a little bit of money, but it's not too much. Um, you can also use Command Shift 4. So, but for fun, I'm going to use Snagit here. It pulls up this kind of fun crosshair window. Let's take a screenshot of that. And let's just go here. Lecture notes, paste, and then let's link it bi-directionally so we can compare the two. Command shift or Control Shift C in the case of uh, Snagit, but Command Shift Four in the case of good old uh, Mac screenshot, which I use a lot anyway. And just for fun, you can download this Paste Clipboard Manager. Um, I think it's fifteen dollars a year, but it's quite helpful if you want to do this linkage on a routine basis. You can do Command Shift V, and it'll pull up all your previous um, screenshots. So this is very helpful if you want to link cards with more than one other card. It's just helpful to have more tools in your pocket. So if you want to be able to pull up your screenshots in a way that you can read them pretty easily and then compare where you want to paste particular cards, um, that's very helpful as well. So other examples of um, cards you can link and then in particular use cases I've kind of wrote here. This is another example of a card, so ocular cutaneous albinism. Um, is autosomal recessive, but ocular albumism is X-linked recessive. So linking these cards together is a helpful thing to be able to compare those two. So this is another example of cards that are closely related to each other. Neural Crest, I remember, was in both of these, but I didn't know the relationship, and so I just kind of remembered this card. So these, these would be cards to link, potentially, so you can kind of compare the wording. Another nice thing about these, this screenshot taking and pasting quickly into lecture notes is that you can use it with the AMBOSS add-on. And hopefully they're okay with me sharing um, one of just one of their definitions here. But I wanted to show you how useful this can be. Okay, so with the AMBOSS add-on, which is just a wonderful, wonderful tool, um, the answer is leg calf perth disease. And I didn't really understand what antalgic gait meant. So you can pull this up and... The AMBOSS add-on provides you a wonderful definition. I totally recommend purchasing an AMBOSS subscription. Um, but if I want to capture that for my own posterity and be able to look at it real quick, and um, instead of having to hover over this, it might be a nice idea just to take a screenshot of that definition. So let's do Control shift c take a screenshot of it really quick. And in lecture notes, let's go ahead and just paste it in there. Boom. And it might show up as a little bit big. So if you have Keyboard Maestro, you can pull, you can download this app. I think it's a little bit of money as well, but not too much. And um, they have a resize image 
ability here. So I made a F2 is what I want. And then I changed the size to about 600 to 500, which is about perfect for a lot of images in Anki. So let's go ahead and redo this. So let's get rid of this screenshot. And let's do F2. And then it just resized it to kind of a smaller, more manageable. Boom. So it's a little bit nicer that way and not taking up most of the screen. That's a really nice method of giving yourself another definition of a particular disease, um, maybe in a larger context, because um, the definitions usually provide like a quick snapshot of everything that's kind of relevant about that particular disease. Um, so that's pretty helpful because some of the Onking cards are details about a particular uh, disease, but you don't really understand like, oh, all these things together in a question stem would lead to this particular disease. So this Onking add-on and th those definitions are a really nice addition to your, your study, in my opinion. Um, okay, so let's go back to a couple other topics I wanted to talk about. Um, here is another example of just what it, what it would look like. So it's just nicely within this lecture notes field. You don't need to look at it if you don't want to. But in my mind, if I have something in the lecture notes field, otherwise this lecture notes button doesn't show up. If there's nothing in the lecture notes field, it doesn't show up. But if there's if that's showing up, that means I pasted something I think is important in there. So, you know, if, if I'm iffy about a card, I don't understand kind of the reasoning behind it, and I pasted something in that lecture notes field earlier, I'm going to go ahead and hit H really quick. Or I set up on a controller, you can put, um, I love this controller, I'll link it in the description, but you can um, make this button an H. <laughs> so you can just quickly pull that up and look at what you just linked and uh, very helpful. So then lastly, this is an example of two cards that were kind of confusing with a small word change, but being able to screenshot the exact wording like this was really helpful in this situation where um, IV infusion leads to fever, chills, hypertension, and headache, but not seizures. Um, intrathecal, which is not IV, but inside the inside the skull, um, that actually leads to seizures in addition to the headaches. So having these compared and linked together, um, very helpful. And the screenshot nature of these in particular is helpful because you're not going to search for a card and then pull up um, a card that's not really relevant. So if I were to just paste the text of this amphotericin card here into this card, I would be I would be creating double searches, I guess. If, or if I wanted to look for this card in particular, I would be pulling up this card um, if I searched for something like seizures and amphotericin. Um, so I don't know, it's just kind of a small thing, but having a picture in there, not the text, makes searching a little bit more efficient. So that's all I have. Thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, if you're thinking about going to a medical school, Boonshop School of Medicine is like the best uh, medical school ever. <laughs> this is what I'm going to, so it's an um, incredible school. So. Stay safe, um, get vaccinated, and thank you for watching. <laughs>